Hello everyone, today's video is about the MFJ1263. This unit lets you connect two mic with two radio. What it gives you the possibility to use two different mic on one radio or one mic on two radio. So to a certain degree, this unit can help you save money. Let's say you want to have the most expensive mic, but you need to buy two because you have two rigs. Well, then you can buy the expensive one with this box and you'll be able to use it on two radio. In my case, I'm going to use it on my TS-2000, my Kenwood TS-2000 and my Kenwood TS-990. And I have two mics and I will have two rigs. So the good thing is it comes ready-made default <laughs> for Kenwood. So it worked right, right away. But if you look in the manual, you have all the setting of the jumper. That's why I opened the box all the setting with the jumper to set it up for your radio and your mic. So that means you can actually use almost any mic on any radio. So this is very cool. Probably a lot easier than try to solder on a eight pin round, uh, eight pin connector, uh, round pin like this, try to solder <laughs> uh, um, uh, the wire. It's a, a lot tougher anyway for me. Every time I try, you know, it's, I, it's very hard to do a very nice job and uh, this will prevent that because you just switch a jumper and you can do it so th this is the type of equipment that you keep in the shack forever okay because it's just helpful and and it, it is passive there is no dc you know it's just there and then you can try different mic you can even use whatever you want around mic pin microphone standard amateur radio and you also have the rg45 modular connector so it's either one of the other and you have the two mics here and the two rig in the back. You also have a push to talk uh, connector. That means if you buy a foot switch or a hand switch, you can actually connect it there and then you can use it for boat radio. So it limits the stuff that you have in front of your radio because you do it with one microphone if you want and one PTT switch, but also it lets you try different microphone on the radio so whatever your need this type of equipment is something that you keep in the shack for a long time because it's always useful to have uh, this thing so it's pretty easy you switch between mic a or b and radio a or b so that's how it works and you can see that it switched between the the jumper here for the right connection for your radio you also have a phone jack you have a speaker jack with some entry in the back that you can use, but I like the fact that it use, uh, it, you can uh, plug the PTT switch over there. So this is open and you can also ground it if you want through a screw. There's no particular ground point, but uh, if you ever have RF in your mic, this is what I'm gonna test with the amp. I try it 100 watts with no problem, but we'll check it out because you know, when you, you, you the, the length of the microphone using the wire over there for the radio and in front you know it's just longer so the risk of rf can be higher so maybe i can put a ground like i just i was saying but i'll do the test it doesn't seem well it's not a problem 100 watts so uh, mm. let's do a test at uh, at 1.3 kilowatts and we'll see so we'll do that test and we'll come back after now what i have is my ts2000 which is radio a and I have my TS-990, which is Radio B. I also have the MC-60, my Kenwood desk mic here. I don't know if yeah, you can see. This is mic A. And I have my PR-20 here, which is mic B. Mic B requires this NPTT. It's not connected to the 1263. It's connected in direct to the radio, but I'll use the sense switch to just try the microphone here on the TS-2000. There is no RF feedback with the MC-60 using the MFJ1263 at 1.3 kilowatts in SSB. V 
PA2 PV LSA. PA2 PV testing. Same thing with the PR20, which the mic wire is longer, okay, than the other mic because it goes all the way around in the back. It was actually getting in the front from the back of the radio. And it worked well. So this concludes this video. I hope you did enjoy. Please, if you like, do a like. Please subscribe. Share with your friend. Hope to catch you very soon on the air. And stay tuned for more videos. 73. And catch you some other time.